The UN Summit of the Future will be held this September, where global leaders will try to forge a new international consensus on how to deliver a better present and safeguard the future. According to the UN, opinions of the global youth will be heard at the summit. As CGTN's Cao Chu Feng is at an event where some of those opinions were expressed and collated. Now, inside these classrooms are youngsters from around the world having discussions on topics that will be addressed at this year's UN Summit of the Future. Now, as told, these youngsters are free to choose the topics they are interested in, and inside of each classroom, there are also keynote speakers who will share their expertise and facilitate the discussions. I'm going to do my master's in sustainability. From transforming global governance to financing future generations to cooperation in science and innovation, various topics are being discussed at the youth pre-meetings for the Summit of the Future. Although young, the participants are knowledgeable and each has an opinion on what needs to change in the world. I want to change the narrative when it comes to women issues. At my place, women don't have decision making. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, listen about peace and security. The opinions cladded at these discussions will be handed over to the UN Summit of the Future, which will be held this September. According to Rodrigo Reis, a keynote speaker on transforming global governance, the youth can and should do more than just being heard. And, and, and the next stage is how they can exert influence and put pressure in terms of like the decisions that are being made in, in, in so many topics uh, debated in the United Nations. We don't yet know which opinions are being collated and shared with the UN for the forthcoming summit. But many ideas were thrown up at the discussions here. The bottom line for, of all the young people is pretty much similar. You know, top of the agenda was democratization of the UN structures and especially the Security Council because, you know, we know uh, in this world and recently uh, veto powers have been used by major powers to actually sabotage peace efforts. And some of my crew members said that uh, if we are to achieve the SDG goals, that those funds should be donated directly to the grassroots so that they will be able to implement the project that they was intended for. This youth pre-meeting was held under the World Youth Development Forum. More events are lined up for these youngsters, aimed at more discussions and expressions of opinions on global issues. Cao Chufeng, Beijing.